Hi, this is Eric with Home Network Central, and we are going to set up the Netgear Nighthawk R6900 router. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you get this router is plug in all the stuff. Uh, you got three antennas. You got one right here, one right here, and one right here. You're going to want to plug those in, and then the power is going to go right here in this port. And then once you plug that in, you're going to want to hook up your router to a modem. The modem is going to have an Ethernet cable that plugs into this yellow one. So you usually, you have, usually have four ports over here that are together, and then you have one that's different. The one that's different is this yellow one that's labeled WAN. That's where your router, um, excuse me, that's where your modem gets plugged into. Now, if you want to plug in... If you want to access the router from a laptop, like with a physical connection, you can just plug in another Ethernet cable into any one of these black ports right here and plug the other end into your laptop. So we're going to use uh, the Wi-Fi to plug into our router. So once you have the router plugged in and powered on and plugged into the modem, then we can proceed with this step. So. We're going to want to go to a website here. It's actually a web. It's actually a page that's built into the router, but you don't want to use your data. If you're on your phone, it's very important that you're not using your data to do this. It will not work. So you want to make sure you're connected to the, the router's default Wi-Fi. So you just basically go up to your Wi-Fi and it's going to have a network that pops up here. There's two networks, Netgear 10 and Netgear 10-5G. The one that just says Netgear 10 is the 2.4 gigahertz network, and the one that has the dash 5G at the end is the 5 gigahertz network. If your device doesn't support the 5 gigahertz band, then you won't even see the 5G option. But I can see both of them, so we're going to, we're going to want to connect to either one of these. It's going to work the same on either one. So... I'm going to select the 5G option and I'm going to, it's going to pop this up. Now you're going to want to type in the password, which is going to be different for you. But if you look on the bottom of the router, it'll have a password on there for your login. And for example, I'll show you down here. This is the bottom of my router and it'll say, it'll say a password down here. It'll say your network ID and that will be what yours is like mine says Netgear 10 yours might have dif a different number and then it'll say the password below that so that's the password that we're going to use for Wi-Fi by default mine is vanilla trumpet 461 so I'm going to go ahead and connect and if you have this little dialogue thing that pops up if you have that you can just close it it doesn't matter so now that we're connected to Wi-Fi we're going to access the router. Again, you want, to, you want to make sure you're not on your data. You want to be on Wi-Fi. If To be safe, I would, I would try disabling your data just to make absolute sure that you're not using your data because this will not work over your data connection. We're going to go to the browser, and we're going to go to routerlogin.net. Again, it will not work over data. It's very important. So once this route, once this page loads up, if we're, if our internet connection is not working, you'll get this. Like for me, it's not working because I'm not even connected to the internet. I have no inter internet connection right now. But if you, if you have your modem plugged in and you had a different router and that was working before and now it's not working, you're like, what in the world, Eric? Please help me. Uh, there's a little fix here that we're going to try that will be able to help most people or at least some people. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to hit no. If you get this screen, then we're going to go to next. Configuring the internet connection requires networking experience. Are you sure? Don't worry. There's nothing scary going on here. I'm going to help you. Uh, I'm going to help you with everything. So don't worry about that. Okay. Now it's going to ask you to create a password. This is not for Wi-Fi. This is for accessing your router's administrator interface. So... You can create whatever password you want. I'm just going to make mine admin. I recommend you use a different password other than admin because that's kind of a 
easy to crack password. Anyone can do that. Anyone can guess that. And then you're going to select two security questions. Uh, so basically, if you forget your password to your administrator interface, it's going to ask you these two questions, and then you got to provide the answers. If you get the two answers right, it'll let you reset your password. So we're going, we'll go to next. So basically, the router is just kind of applying these settings, and it's rebooting real quick. And then when it's done, it'll show us the main screen. Oh, it's going to ask us to log in. So the username is admin, and the password is the password that you just created. Mine was admin, so I'm going to sign in with that. So at this point, once this screen is done loading, you should be good to go. If you had your router plugged into your modem, your modem is online, and your internet service provider is all set up, you should be good to go theoretically. So you wouldn't see this error right here. Would, you'd probably see something that's green, and it would show you that it's good. But if you're having, like for me, for example, I'm not connected to the internet, so obviously mine's not going to work. But if you had another router that was previously working and now you just installed this new router and you're like, what in the world? Why won't this router get on the internet? My other router was working fine. Here's how we're gonna fix that. You're gonna configure something called MAC address cloning or MAC address spoofing. It's the same thing. It's just different ways to say the same thing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the internet tab over here, click on that. Then we're gonna go all the way to the bottom you're going to click this option called use this MAC address. So we're going to type a MAC address over here. We want to change this. This one that you see right here is the MAC address of your current router that we're looking at. It's your Netgear uh, Nighthawk R6900. The one that you have plugged in right now, that's the MAC address for that. So we want to change that to the MAC address of your old router. Normally, it'll be on the bottom. So for example, you'll see the sticker. And here's the MAC address right here. It's CC40, blah, 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 blah. That is your MAC address. So that, we don't want this one, though. We want the one from your old router. It's usually the same kind of thing. It'll be on a sticker. And you can either type it in like this with the colons between every two characters. Or if you want, you can use dashes instead of colons. So you can type it in like this. Or just type it in just like it is down here. There's no colons. There's no dashes. You can just type it in without all that stuff. And then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and apply that setting. And that should, it's, it's kind of spoofing your internet service provider to think that your old router is still plugged in. If that does not help you, if that doesn't fix your problem, then the next step is you're going to want to call up your internet service provider and tell them that you just bought a new router and they'll fix it for you. They will they might ask you what your MAC address is for your new router, and they'll type that in, and they'll update it for you. So that's, a, that's the next way to do it. If this MAC address spoof does not work for you, you're going to need to call your internet service provider. That's There's no other way that I'm aware of to get around it. So if you want to configure your wireless network, like if you want to configure your Wi-Fi network name and the password and all that stuff, you go over here to the wireless tab. And there's two networks. This one right here is your 2.4 gigahertz network. And this is the name of it. And then once you go down a little bit lower, this is the Wi-Fi password that you can set to whatever you want. And then right below that is the 5 gigahertz. This is the 5 gigahertz network. And this is the name of it. I recommend naming them completely different. Or like you'll see here, this one is Netgear 10 and Netgear 10-5G. That way you know which one is the five gigahertz network. So if you see, if you go on, if you go to your Wi-Fi list and you see what networks are available, you'll see that there's Netgear 10-5G and there's Netgear 10. If you name them both the same thing, they get can, kind of confusing because if it's the same name, you don't know which one is the five gigahertz network. So I, re I recommend leaving the 5G on there or naming them something completely different. And then down here lower, you'll see this is the password for your second network, your second Wi-Fi password. So once you're done changing those settings, you, you can go ahead and click apply. 
So that's basically just getting it set up. And that's just the initial setup. That's not the recommended security settings or any of that. So if you like this video, if it helped you out, please let me know, like it, or give me a comment, tell me it was awesome, or let me know what you didn't like about it or what I should do different. I'm always open to constructive criticism. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.